In this program, we're going to learn about the pseudo-ruminant digestive system. Animals with a pseudo-ruminant digestive system have a large stomach divided into three compartments. A digestive system is the system by which ingested food is acted upon by physical and chemical means to provide the body with absorbable nutrients. Even the smallest animals need to eat and drink. In some unicellular creatures, ingestion occurs at any point of the body. Because they have no mouth, these single-celled organisms ingest nutrients through a process called phagocytosis. Phagocytosis is when a cell takes in a large object that it will eventually digest. These creatures do not have a digestive tract. They store the ingested material in structures known as food vacuoles, where the nutrients are absorbed and waste products are then eliminated through a temporary opening in the cell membrane. One of the first types of digestive tracts was the gastrovascular cavity that is found in cnidarians like jellyfish and sea anemones. In a gastrovascular cavity, food goes in and waste comes out that same opening. Food enters the gastrovascular cavity where enzymes break down the food used by individual cells. Waste material is then ejected through the same cavity. From the gastrovascular cavity evolved the alimentary canal, a one-way digestive tract with two openings. Scientists believe that the first animals to have the alimentary canal were microscopic worms called nematodes. From nematodes, the alimentary canal evolved, resulting in many different types of digestive tracts. Arthropods are invertebrate animals whose digestive functions take place in specialized cavities that are connected to form a continuous canal. The alimentary canal includes a foregut consisting of the mouth parts and esophagus, the midgut or stomach, and the hindgut where undigested food is excreted through the anus as feces. Virtually all vertebrate animals have a digestive system with an alimentary tract. The pseudo-ruminant digestive system is the type found in some vertebrates that eat large amounts of roughage or fiber. Roughage contains the relatively indigestible carbohydrate cellulose, the main component of plant cell walls. Unlike true ruminants, they do not have stomachs with several compartments. They use a different strategy to digest roughage. Different species of animals have different digestive systems. There are four basic types of vertebrate digestive systems. Avian, monogastric, ruminant, and pseudo-ruminant digestive systems. Digestive systems of animals have adapted to the kinds of foods eaten, the methods by which food is obtained, and the energy needs that an animal needs in order to survive. A pseudo-ruminant is an animal that eats large amounts of roughage. Mammals with this type of digestive system include hamsters, rabbits, and horses. Pseudo-ruminants eat forages as well as grains. The main parts of a pseudo-ruminant's digestive system include the esophagus, stomach, small intestine, colon, cecum, and rectum. A horse's digestive system starts with the mouth. The food is crushed by grinding molars, mixed with saliva, then moves from the mouth to the esophagus and then into the horse's stomach. Contraction of smooth stomach muscles mixes enzymes and other fluids with the food. The food is partially digested in the stomach and then proceeds into the small intestine where more enzymes from the intestine and other organs break it down into basic food molecules. An example of this would be the breakdown of complex proteins into simpler amino acids. At this point, most of the cellulose is still undigested. This remaining undigested food material passes into the cecum, a region near the start of the large intestine. In the cecum, the cellulose is fermented by a variety of microorganisms. This fermentation produces substances that can be absorbed in the rest of the large intestine. The absorption of unabsorbed nutrients and reabsorption of water also begins in the cecum. These processes occur in the rest of the large intestine, the colon. The food particles then pass through the large colon. What cannot be digested is then released to the rectum and excreted. Many animals with pseudo-ruminant digestive systems eat some of their own feces, a process known as coprophagy. 
You may see young horses do this, but it is more commonly seen in rabbits and small pseudoruminants. This is because microbial action in the gut may produce lots of digestible nutrients that are not absorbed in the large intestine. By recycling their feces, these animals get a second opportunity to absorb these valuable nutrients. Animals have different digestive systems. The pseudo-ruminant digestive system is a system designed to get food in the body, digest the food, and absorb the nutrients necessary to live.